<laughs> so so my my recommendation is uh, the Blackmagic Micro Studio Cam. Now, this is an expensive pick, but it's not relatively expensive compared to other professional level cameras. So it's this little guy here, and this one's got oh, some stuff on it. Sorry, I, this is the one that I have sitting in my office. And so so this is this tiny little camera is a four thirds. 4K video camera, Ooh. and I've got you know I've just got this little Olympus uh, four thirds lens on it. So of it'll take any put, micro four thirds lens, any micro four thirds lens, and then you wow. can also get a micro four thirds to Canon adapter, which we use often. Um, so you can put big Canon lenses on. You can also get what what are called for those in broadcast B4 lenses. You can actually convert the B4 lens to this little guy. We almost put them. We had these box lenses for an event um, uh, uh, last week. 76x, you know, broadcast lenses, and we almost got one of these onto it. We just didn't have the adapter with us. Which would have been the funniest thing is this giant lens, and then it just has this little camera, and it it looks. I mean, the the lens, um, you know, the, the 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 chip looks great. But what really makes this uh, just a great little camera? Now it doesn't have a viewfinder, but you can always add one. Um, and this is a wooden camera. Makes these little ectoskeletons that we put on them, put on all of them to make sure that. Uh, um, you know, we can mount anything we want to it. So, you know, other monitors and so on and so forth. But Blackmagic really made this. This is the Geeks camera. You know, Blackmagic made this. So if you look at these, these, uh, you know, all these little connectors here, this is, this is just, you know, this is just connected to my camera here. And, you know, what I have here is I have PTZ control. So if I hook it to a pan tilt zoom head, I can control the head. Now, here's the important part control the head from my switcher so um uh there's power um this is uh ref in so you can sync the cameras uh you can control a b4 lens that's a standard broadcast lens um you control the lens and that means that from the switcher um you know so from my black magic switcher i can control the zoom and the focus and the aperture from the switcher you know, um, and because you can log into your switcher from anywhere in the world, uh, you can actually, you know, change the shading on a camera that's half, of, you know, in another part of the world, which we've done. And then Lank, so you could you could even control the camera, you know, with just your the standard little Lank controllers that you can buy. Um, and then, of course, there's this, which is the kind of the geekiest version, the thing. This is the S bus. Now, the reason the S bus goes in, you take it, you take a little receiver like this, and you plug, you plug your S bus in. So you plug your camera into this little receiver. And uh, yeah, just so you know, that means that you can control your camera with this. <laughs> so this is, you know, so this is the, the S bus is made by Fubata. And it, so you can actually control aperture and, 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 you know, a lot of other things, uh, you know, through a, a controller here like this um, remotely. So again, it's the, 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 the camera has been made to be hacked. Um, it's, it, you can either hack it through the switcher um, you know, you can hack, you know, we have, um, we actually control the shading on these cameras with an Arduino, uh, powered, um, uh, um, controller. So, you know, a lot of this stuff is all built very, very, not open source, but definitely an open API that, that lets you have a lot of access to this thing. There's a company called Scaroff, uh, I think out of Finland that, that does a lot of these, uh, updates that we, that we've started to buy a lot of. And so it's just a great little camera, um, uh, it's my favorite, my favorite little camera that I, it's my, and generally my webcam. I had a, some setup issues this morning, but uh, generally my webcam. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's, it's pretty cool. So if you're looking for one to do geeky stuff with. Just tell me when he's done. Right. And Leo, if I was building a new studio somewhere, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I am not listening to you. I'm not listening. Because, You're just because a I, mean I, I man. wouldn't, I would just say that you know, they're pretty nice cameras that you could, you know. Well, we could replace these cameras. Well, you know what? The truth is, it's going to cost us so much money to build this new studio that I don't really have money for new cameras. Oh, there you go. And, and these cameras. How much are those, cameras, Alex? These are like twelve hundred bucks each. That's not much. Bucks each. Yeah, exactly. It's it's. Uh, we all need them, Alex. Sorry. No, you don't. We need all them. need them. No, yeah, stop I, it. Don't I, listen I, to I him. Don't He's all. the devil. Renee, I think I think you'll agree with me that if. Alex is going to be using this camera. I mean, we were all using these Logitech 920s. <laughs> now we have to all buy them. I'm just, I'm just worried that we won't have that consistent look from, from <laughs> shot to shot to shot. <laughs> <laughs> not listening. Not listening. Yeah, You're talking, see, I, I, but I am not listening. Not listening. I was, I was telling Talk myself, to the wallet. Yeah, but I'm telling myself, but Andy, it's, it, it uses micro four thirds lenses. You've got I've lots got of plenty of those. Yeah, Think how much, I, I the bet lenses are the most expensive part, Andy. Exactly. 
It's just a box that you put light through. That's all the camera is. <laughs> It's photons. Photons are free. They're pretty cool. We've been watching the development of these, and they've just gotten better and better and more and more interesting. And Yeah. Not buying them. Uh, <laughs> so don't get your hopes up there, Jason. Cleanthus is going, hmm. <laughs> 4K. Yeah, we should do. Someday we'll do our shows in 4K. But not this year.